Okay, so now I'm behind the camera. All right, so this is our deck. There's the back door of the house, and I will go around to the plants on the deck. But I, I just want to orient you here. This is the walkway from the house to the garage. Last year, Lisa's sister came and helped us with some things when I had uh, uh, surgery. And so she helped put these railings in. Otherwise, so we just had steps with no railings, but it's been wonderful and a, a, a blessing to have those railings uh, with the various troubles I've had. Okay, so a little parking space for my uh, for a couple of our vehicles and in the garage. And as you see, I was, uh, when we started the video last week, I was standing along the side of the garage where that little door is, looking straight ahead toward the gardens and ending up then coming back from the big garden in the furthest uh, down straight there and uh, ending up to the other side of the garage where you see the shaded area. That was the, the shadow garden kind of, you might say. And so this is our, our yard. And uh, backyard anyway. And I will take you across through this uh, little rock garden there. But what I wanted to talk about, first of all, here was last week, you know, uh, we had um, a tour of the gardens, and you got to see all the plants in the garden at various, almost earlier stage. It, it was, they were competing with weeds, of course, and so a lot of the plants were not growing very fast. And I mentioned how, how poor the soil is over there. And uh, the, it just happened then that we uh, had this gospel lesson last Sunday about Jesus talking about the sower and the seeds and the, um, how the seeds ended up in various uh, kinds of soil and conditions, the rocky soil and the path and among the thorns and so on. And then I talked about the, well, you know, in the garden over there, where the plants really are coming along very slowly. And many of those plants were, uh, are still small. Well, this coming, well, no, not, not this coming. I'm not going to talk about that yet. But uh, speaking about conditions of soil, this is what I mean. This is the difference. Because where I'm going to start here on our backyard garden uh, idea here is this. What I try to do in addition to planting the big plots over across the alley, I try to put some pots with plants by the deck. Uh, some of the plants, same plants that are in the garden. And this is the difference. These plants have corresponding plants over in the garden. But you see how much bigger they are. Especially this really, really tall one on the corner of the deck. That is a tomatillo. And you might have remembered the tomatillos you've seen out there or at least only half the size of this one. The one behind it there is a horseradish. It's just some horseradish roots planted in some pots, a pot there. The next three pot plants here with these cages are tomato plants. And they, too, are at least twice, if not three times, the size of those in the garden. Uh, anyway, the, uh, you saw these plants here. Okay. Uh, I have to water them every other day. 
it seems because the pots are really small but the soil is really good the potting mix that they're in and that I think is makes a difference why they are so much bigger than the ones out in the garden the only one next to it here then is an eggplant and then I have three pepper plants I think one is a uh, green bell or um, no that's a jalapeno right there it's jalapeno is growing there and then a green bell and a, a red bell although as uh, you can see they are still green which um someone reminded me on sunday or told me assured me that uh, they will if i leave them to ripen they will turn red supposed to be the sweet red peppers anyway uh, that same sister that uh, gave uh, came and put the uh, railings in the other year gave us these boxes containers for our garden our backyard and here we this is the second time I've seeded this one uh, because they were somehow not working they're not growing and those are lettuce this is lettuce i think there may be spinach in there in fact i'm sure it is i think the row on the left is spinach and then a couple of rows of lettuce or three rows of lettuce one of them um, being a special kind because it has a weird uh, little uh, kind of spear head leaves uh, that's that second row there. And there is a, a radish or two yet. They were volunteers from last year. In the second box, Lisa planted carrots. She wanted carrots and she planted some carrots. We did that last year in this box too. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think why. I think she seeded them twice, and that's why these here on the left are the first ones that <laughs> came up, and they were the only ones. She seeded throughout the whole box, but only those came up. So she used a different kind of seed, and the others are finally coming. But Lisa's gift here is to uh, uh, plant flowers and she has a couple of planters along the side of the house and I'll show you the ones on the deck but uh, she's got a little garden here where she puts tulips and daffodils right here on the side bordering our neighbors that's why if you see that branches all those branches there those are from what the neighbor cut from the tree uh, but there's a peony that was existing there before that we try to nurture. Uh, that's kind of spread out a bit. We should maybe tie that up so that it's a little bit more bunchy. Anyway, uh, and she had in there tulips and daffodils. I don't know what they're doing except I think they're laying down. They, they ran their course this spring. And another kind of bush plant. I'm not sure what that is. But Lisa has an eye for, for flowers. And this is the rock garden. And if you've seen Facebook, you've seen extensive pictures of that. And mostly lilies of various sorts. Day lilies and such. The rock garden was built as a uh, memorial to our son who passed away in 2018 and so we have a little plaque here She did really marvelous job. 
she likes to put various kinds of plants. We picked up the bigger rocks. <coughs> Some actually were dug up out of the garden. And uh, she purchased a few of them. But there's some other bigger lilies, various plants. Some of them have lost their petals. And the little ste steps up to the parking. And a little wood pile there. Every time, now and then, I go around and uh, get some trim. Uh, trees around the house and so we have that uh, various wood piles and we just don't do a whole lot of wood burning anyway back to the deck everything's kind of rough we don't keep up with the mowing right this year but then it hasn't been so bad because uh, not been a whole lot of moisture Anyway, Lisa puts uh, various plants around here, and she has a lot of flowers. She, these are, it's really her forte where she's put these uh, flowers around the deck and growing those. The beauty of those really add a lot to our life. So fantastic red flowers, as well as white and purple. Uh, right around here where we sit. She has lots of flowers. As you can see, some are in the process of coming. Some have grown. Some grasses. Here's a little lily we had at church. Somebody suggested we take it home and pot it, and there it is. It's not doing well at all. Hopefully that bulb will come back. But here's some more of those flowers from Lisa's. Now, something we have and what we do is bring these in, uh, or we bring a lot of these in at uh, in the in the winter inside. Because if they stayed outside, they would just freeze. But what we do, what we really like, since we were in Hawaii five years ago, are hibiscuses. Now these are a couple of. Uh, and these have not blossomed. Well, this actually one had last year, had a blossom, purplish one. But these are, I don't know if these are really typical hibiscuses because we got others that are more typical. Uh, but we kind of like the hibiscuses. We brought them up this year and they really, I think the heat got to them. Look, they look a little ragged, but they're coming around again. This one has had some some blossoms now, and you can see what a marvelous flower that is. And I think this this one is the one that is now finally either that or it's on its way back out again. I don't know if this one is going to have any more blossoms. Oh, uh, there's one, yes. It's got more reddish than the peach color. And this was open yesterday. And that's going up. But now you see there's another bud right there coming. Oh, and here's one. See, so when they start coming, then they, they kind of come now and then, about a day or two each. 
and uh, and that's just really wonderful to have that period where they uh, where they do blossom. And I think this one had some blossoms, but now it's run its course for the year, I think. That was, this one is the more typical of the uh, hibiscuses with the ones with the big petals rather than just the fluffy ones like that other one, the ruffled ones. This one here is a plumeria, also a plant of Hawaii. That's blossomed once when it was inside, about uh, maybe early, back in 22. Uh, but we've had this since it was just a stick in the ground. And uh, it's nice to have that. These plants, though, are getting kind of big, bringing them in. They take up a lot of the space. I think that one has just grown so much. I'm not sure we'll find any room for it. Uh, this is another plant I bought for Lisa, but it's seen much better days. Uh, it was even getting brown and uh, raggedy inside last year. There's another hibiscus, and this one's got some blossoms coming here. So, wonderful. I think that one is more of a brightish yellowish, yellow with red in it. And another little arrangement she made. And there's another hibiscus. I think this is more yellowish. I'll probably remove that. Now this plant is one I think it, it's going to look very much like that spindly one there. <laughs> Except I, you know, it'll look nicer before it ever turns that way. And this is one from Hawaii too that it's called an Ixora. I don't know if that's pronunciation or not, but it's, uh, it's supposed to have reddish or yellow flowers, and it's uh, spelled I-X-O-R-A. So if you look that up online, you can read about that. And so those are the uh, plants around the garden. Just back to this tall tomatillo here. See, now we can see it from above. But you can see in there some of the fruits that are coming. I don't know if you can see that. There, there. You get some views of them. But they look like kind of little Chinese lanterns. Uh, but that's those are just husks, I guess, that will uh, fill out. You see, husks that will uh, that will fill out and burst open with green tomatoes, like uh, vegetables. But uh, the gardening and the plants have just uh, really kind of been part of our life and add a little beauty. Oh, and then finally, here, Lisa, not content to let me grow all the tomatoes. Lisa likes cherry tomatoes for her salad. So she's got a couple of big cherry tomato plants and of course they already have some that are coming that are green yet but we'll be having them for salad soon
and so let us go back and finish our our service here. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and through Christ Jesus our Lord, and may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit preserve you and keep you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.